Peppa Pig Tails. <laughs> splash, splash. <laughs> Dinosaur! Today, Peppa and George are helping to make <laughs> Christmas lunch. They are giving the vegetables a bath. Quack, quack. <laughs> yes, they need bath toys. There you go, vegetables. <laughs> That's not quite what I meant when I said wash the vegetables. I finished cooking the potatoes. Why don't you and George mash them? Yes, yes. Potatoes! <laughs> not with your hands, with these. <laughs> OK, Daddy. Now, what's next, Mummy Pig? Done. That was quick. Ho, ho, ho. You've made an igloo out of potato. What fun. You can help me ice the cake now. Yes, please. With a few bits of green icing and some splodges of white icing, it looks like mistletoe. Mistletoe! Hooray! Our turn, our turn. Here you go, Peppa. You do the leaves, and George, you do the... Ooh! <laughs> like this? Well, not quite, but this is much more fun than mistletoe. It looks like a snowman. Snowman! <laughs> Granny and Grandpa Pig are arriving for Christmas lunch. Happy Christmas, ev... Oh! Oh, my! Peppa and George's Christmas lunch looks messier than Grandma Pig expected. Peppa and George have been helping us make the Christmas lunch. It's not how we'd normally do it. No, but it's much more fun. Peppa and her family enjoy a lovely Christmas lunch together. <laughs> <laughs> it's filled with lots of laughter. And some fun new traditions, too. <laughs> Happy Christmas, everyone. Happy Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Again. I'm going to be a wizard. I'm going to be a tree. Squeak! I'm going to be a wizard tree. <laughs> <laughs> no, children. Pumpkins aren't only used to celebrate Halloween. They're also used to celebrate a special holiday in America called Thanksgiving. Can I still be a wizard tree for Thanksgiving? I don't see why not. <laughs> <laughs> Something else people do on Thanksgiving is make a cornucopia. Cornucopia what? That sounds silly. Cornucopia? It's a horn-shaped basket that holds fruits and vegetables that grow in the autumn. We're going to oh. make one of our own. <laughs> anyway, thank you. Fresh fruits oh. and vegetables are certainly things I'm grateful for. One story even says cornucopias can magically refill themselves. Ooh, can this refill itself? Sadly not. The playgroup is making their own Thanksgiving cornucopia by collecting things that they're thankful for. I'm thankful for acorns and pumpkins. Whoop. I'm going to add this chocolate bar from my lunchbox. I love chocolate bars. Oh, maybe just one bite. <laughs> 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 
<gasps> Ooh, the wrapper is the best part anyway. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> that was close. You've all made a beautiful cornucopia. It's home time, and Peppa is showing Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig what she learned today. This is a cornucopia. It's part of Thanksgiving and helps remind us to be thankful for all the yummy food we get to eat. Lovely indeed. Oh, but your cornucopia is reminding my tummy how hungry it is. <laughs> Don't worry. This is why it's very important to stop, look, listen, and always wait for the green man before crossing the road. The green man! Remember what we learned, children? Stop, look, and listen. All clear, no cars. Let's go. It's safe to cross now. Peppa and her playgroup are learning about road safety today. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Peppa. Peppa's playgroup. Hello, Daddy Pig. Oh, green light. Well, see you later, Peppa. Thank you for helping us, Police Officer Panda. All in a day's work. Pepper is helping Police Officer Panda make sure everyone follows road safety rules. No, no, no. Emily, you need to stay on your side of the road. Sorry, Pepper. My wheel is stuck. We'll come help you. Wee-oo, wee-oo, wee-oo. <laughs> <laughs> We're keeping the road safe for cars and people. <gasps> Pedro hasn't noticed that Green Man has turned to red. Pedro, the red man means don't walk. <laughs> Thanks, Peppa. All in a day's work. Wait a minute. Freddy is dressed as a robber. We have to catch the robber. Wee-oo, wee-oo, wee-oo. Oh, the red light means stop. There he goes. Now we've got him. Freddy, are you dressed as a robber because you are a robber? No, I just like stripes. Oh. So you're not a robber? Nope. Oh. Well, you can go then, but not so fast. OK. Bye, Peppa. Ooh. Great work, Officer Peppa. Everyone is remembering to stop, look and listen and only walk when they see... The Green Man. That means we can go. All in a day's work, Officer Panda. Peppa loves keeping everyone safe, and everyone <laughs> loves feeling safe. It's bonfire night, and Peppa is very excited. She thinks bonfires are lovely to look at. Wow! Woof. Hi, Peppa. You're just in time. The fireworks will begin in five, four, three, two, one. The fireworks are going so high. Whoa. Pepper thinks fireworks are very noisy. The fireworks are really loud, Grandpa. Oh, dear. Why don't we go further back? They'll be quieter if they're far away. We're going to the back. Where the fireworks won't be so loud. Good idea. We'll come too. 
Excuse me, please. Once again. Sorry. Is that better, Peppa? Um, yes. Thank you, Danny. Great. Now we all can enjoy how nice the fireworks look. There's so many colours. Red and blue. And green. Oh, and yellow. Peppa is having lots of fun Yay! watching the fireworks. And now it's time for the big fireworks. Hold on to your hats, everyone. Bigger? Does that mean louder? <laughs> oh, my. What should we do? We can't go any further back. We'll have to go home. But I want to see the fireworks. I just don't want to hear them. Well, I know. Ah. Sometimes my granddad's garage is really loud too. So I use these. Headphones? Yes. Ooh. They cover your ears and make loud sounds more quiet. Do you want to try them? <gasps> wow! That's much better! Thank you, Danny! <laughs> no need to shout, Peppa. We can't hear the fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> snow day. Let's go. Peppa is Whoa. very excited to play in the snow today. Yay! Let's go. But Candy doesn't look very happy. Always cold. That's part of the fun. I didn't think it'd be this cold. Can we play inside in the warm? Oh, but I want to play in the snow. Peppa and Candy mm. don't know what to do. I know. Why don't we do one snow game and one inside game? And we see which is best. OK. That sounds like a good idea. Pepper and Candy are making a snowman. It's very tall. That was fun. Hmm. Just need a nice woolly hat. <gasps> Whoa! Uh... Meow! I think we should go inside and get warm now. Mm. Pepper and Candy have made a <laughs> pillow fort. It is very cosy and warm. There! All finished. Perfect. This was a fun idea. Phew. It's very warm in here. Why don't we try something in the snow to cool down? Pepper and Candy spend the day playing lots of different games. <laughs> they go sledding outside. Whee! <gasps> oh. <gasps> they drink delicious hot chocolate. and make lovely snow angels. <gasps> <laughs> they even race around indoors. <laughs> and outdoors. But they can't agree what is best. We've tried everything. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Candy. Why the sad faces? We can't find something to do that is fun in the warm and in the cold. That is difficult. Oh, how about some delicious fruity snow cones? <gasps> They're made of nice cold snow yeah. and perfect to be enjoyed in the warm inside. <laughs> Mmm, thank you, Miss Rabbit. Wow, thank you. Peppa and Candy both agree that this is best. <laughs> Peppa Pig Tails. Peppa and Rebecca Rabbit are making a pillow fort today. 
Careful, don't fall on the fort. Almost got it. Whoa. Squeak. We did it. Now we need to decorate the inside. <gasps> hmm. Something else is missing. Oh, oh something, something to eat. eat. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy. What a beautiful pillow fort. Can we have something to eat, please? Of course. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pretend the pillow fort is really big inside. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Catch, Peppa. <laughs> Let's pretend the floor is really bouncy, like a trampoline. Squeak! <laughs> it's so bouncy! <laughs> oh no! The ball bounced over there. Let's bounce after it. <laughs> this floor is green. So let's pretend it's squelchy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the ball isn't here. Maybe over there. <laughs> <laughs> this room is blue. So let's pretend it's cold. <laughs> There's the ball. Hooray! L let's get out of here. Um, which way did we c come in? Peppa, where are you? We're lost in the pillow fort. I'll come get you. No, Mummy. The fort isn't built for grown-ups. <sniffs> oh, I can fit through anything. <sniffs> Oh. <sighs> Mummy Pig is stuck. Oh. Uh, uh. Mummy, your wiggles are breaking the fall. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Phew. Oh. All that pretending has made me even more hungry. Good thing I brought you some food. Now, we just need to find it under these pillows. <laughs> Peppa Pig Tails! Today is sports day at Peppa's playgroup. There is a pink team and a blue team. They're trying to win gold medals. I'm going to win! Oh, uh, whoops! Rebecca Rabbit is finding the sack race quite difficult. Yay! Hooray! Emily Elephant on the pink team has won the sack race. Hooray! You're so fast! Squeak! Oh no! I lost! You did your best! And we can still win! Oh. Now it is time for the egg and spoon race. Faster, Peppa! Squeak! But Peppa is finding it difficult to run fast and balance her egg. Slower, Peppa! Don't drop the egg! OK! <laughs> <laughs> Slow down, Danny. <laughs> but don't go too slow. <laughs> slower. Faster. <laughs> slower. <laughs> no, faster. <laughs> yeah. Squeak. <laughs> <laughs> we did it! We won the race! 
It's a draw between the two teams. The next game is ring toss. Whichever team hooks the most rings onto the wooden stick will win sports day. That's one point for each team. <laughs> Another point for each team. It's still a draw. Rebecca and Freddy, it's your turn. But if I miss, we'll lose. Oh, don't worry about winning. Just do your best. And have lots of fun. <coughs> yeah! Yeah! We lost. Squeak. But we had a lot of fun anyway. You're right, Peppa. Well done, Pink Team. You get gold medals. Yeah. <laughs> and the blue team did really well too. So they get silver medals. Wow! The pink team and the blue team love sports day. Everyone loves sports day. Peppa Pig Tails Whoops! <gasps> Peppa and her friends are going to watch the football match today. Oh dear! The cake is squashed. Oh no! My trophy cake! I'm very sorry, Mummy Pig. It's okay. We'll just have to make a new one. But there's only ten minutes until the match starts. Well, we'd better get a wriggle on then. To the supermarket! All right. Who wants to play football? Yes! Yay! We've not got much time, so we're going to have to split up. Peppa, you and I will find the sponge cakes. Hooray! Granny Pig, you and Mandy Mouse find the icing. Whee! And Daddy Pig, you and George are in charge of sprinkles. Sprinkles! Let's go! Let's go! Aim for the top corner. There, in the top corner. <laughs> Put it in the back of the net. Well done. Pop it in the basket. Hooray! I can save three shots at once. Ah. We'll need three sponge cakes, Peppa. Whoa! Phew. Well done, team. We've got all the ingredients. Now let's get back home and make this cake. Everyone is very busy making the new cake. Yay! <laughs> How many goals is that? One hundred or one hundred and one? Made a new cake. Hooray! And just in time, the game's about to start. Pepper Pig Tails. Peppa and her family are taking baby Alexander on the Ferris wheel, but he isn't very happy. What's that smell? <laughs> yeah! Hmm, it's baby Alexander. He needs a nappy change. 
but we're at the front of the queue for the Ferris wheel. Ooh. Hold your noses, everyone. Boo! This Ferris wheel smells terrible. Sorry, Pepper, but it's our job to look after baby Alexander. If we help now, we can play later. Yes, baby Alexander needs our help. That's the spirit. Now let's go and look for a nappy changing station. Oh, that's better. Not here. <coughs> oh. <laughs> Not here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Definitely not here. <laughs> Ooh, here. Well done, Peppa. We found the nappy changing station. First, we have to take off the dirty nappy and put it in the bin. Um, where is the bin? Hmm. Ooh. Here it is, Daddy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now, we must wash our hands. Add a dab of cream. Whoa! Ooh. <laughs> Whoops! Sorry, Peppa. Now, finally, a clean nappy. Can I do this bit, Daddy? Of course, Peppa. There. All better. That was so fun. I've never changed a nappy before. You did very well, Peppa. But do you know what's even more fun than changing a nappy? Pedro Pony, Candy Cat, Mandy Mouse, Gerald Giraffe and Danny Dog are playing football. Look, Mummy, my friends are playing football. Hello, Peppa. Do you want to play with us? Yes, please. Whoever scores the best goal wins the trophy. Ooh. Peppa loves shiny trophies. Do you want to join our team, Peppa? No, thank you. I will play on my own. I don't think you should play on your own, Peppa. But then I can win the trophy all for myself. Peppa is going to play all on her own against everyone else. Uh, oh dear. Good try, Peppa. Have another go. Hmm. Maybe I need to kick it harder. <gasps> um, almost. Here you go, Peppa. Maybe if I use my other foot. Whoa! Oof. You have to score with the ball, not your shoe. Squeak! Hmm, this is too hard. Why don't you have a go in goal? Good idea, Mummy. I'll be a great goalie. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, why can they score a goal but I can't? Because, Peppa, football is all about teamwork. And you can't work as a team if you don't have a team in the first place. <laughs> um, can I join your team, please? Of course you can. We've got a spare shirt just for you. Woof, woof. Hooray! 
But who will play in goal? I will. Just you try and get past me. You scored the goal, Pedro, so you get the trophy. But we all scored the goal together, Peppa. As a team. That's right. You all win the trophy. <coughs> Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Yay! I love flying in aeroplanes. <laughs> But not everyone loves flying in aeroplanes. <laughs> oh, hello, Madam Gazelle. George and I love flying. <laughs> Do you love it too? Actually, I have never been on an aeroplane before. And I am scared. Huh? Oh. Oh. Hmm. Oh, I know what to do. Miss Rabbit, please can you make the plane go really, really high? I don't see why not. Oh. It's really fun when the plane goes high, Madam Gazelle. Look, we're nearly in space. Oh. Ah, too high! Too high! Oh. Can we go lower instead, Miss Rabbit? Certainly. Oh! Whee! <laughs> oh! Too low! Far too low! Hmm. Let's do a loop-de-loop. -loop. Oh! <laughs> I don't think that worked either, George. <gasps> Look, Madam Gazelle, oh. that cloud is shaped like a bird. Do you see? Yes, I see. <gasps> and that one is shaped like a relaxing desert island. Dinosaur! Oh. <laughs> oh, it's no good. I will just close my eyes and wait for this to be over. Oh, dear. Hello. Would you two like an activity book? They're lots of fun. Ooh. Oh, yes, please. Would you like to do oh. some colouring in with us, Madam Gazelle? Well, I suppose that might keep my mind off things. <laughs> and so Pepper, George and Madam Gazelle did some relaxing colouring for the rest of the flight. <laughs> Look at these! The line work! <gasps> the attention to detail! Incredible! A star plus! Oh, hooray. hooray! We've landed! Whee! Already? But I was having fun! That wasn't scary at all! I told you, flying is really fun! Thank you for helping me, Peppa and George. Now I cannot wait to fly home. <laughs> Handball! That's against the rules. Oops. Why are you blowing a whistle, Miss Rabbit? And what do those cards mean? I'm the referee. I blow the whistle to get attention. If someone makes a mistake, I give them a yellow card. And if someone's being a bit silly, I give them a red card. Ooh, can I be the referee? Of course. Now, Pepper is the referee. What's wrong, Peppa? You kicked the ball too fast. Mandy missed it. But that's not against the rules. I'm the referee now, Daddy, so I say it is. Oh, dear. 
Peppa likes being the referee and she really likes blowing the whistle. <gasps> Your shoelace is undone. Ah. You're not smiling. Ah. Oh. You nearly kicked that lovely flower. Pepper is finding all sorts of reasons to blow the whistle. Oh! <gasps> You're running too fast. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> You're swinging too high. Oh! Woof, woof. Your ice cream is too melty. Watch out! Oof! Can we have a go now? I want a kick. Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Daddy Pig and Miss Rabbit are not following the rules. <gasps> Referee! This duck is too sweet. Referee Peppa! <laughs> Peppa is having so much fun, she's Ooh. forgotten all about the football match. Oops. Uh -huh. uh. <gasps> oh. Daddy, that's not how you play football. You're being a bit silly. I'm going to have to give you a red card. <laughs> Sorry, Peppa. I suppose we got a bit carried away. That Peppa Pig Tails! <laughs> Baby Alexander and his family have come to say Happy Christmas. But Baby Alexander isn't happy at all. Why is Baby Alexander crying? Christmas is fun. Well, this is Baby Alexander's first Christmas. He doesn't know how fun it can be yet. Then it's got to be extra special. I'll show him all my favourite Christmassy things. I love Christmas dinner. It has carrot, potato, sprouts. <laughs> no, you're supposed to eat it, not throw it. Let's try something else. Wrapping presents is really fun. You can put the bow on top. <laughs> No, we need to wrap them up so other people can open them. Alexander thinks unwrapping presents is much more fun than wrapping them. Hmm. I don't think Alexander likes Christmas at all. Really? He's been having fun with you all day. But I wanted it to be extra special for him. Spending Christmas with his cousin is extra special, Peppa. But he's doing it all wrong. Alexander is just a baby. Maybe you need to find some simple things he can do right. Christmas for babies. Oh, I have some ideas. <laughs> baby Alexander enjoys passing out the Christmas presents. Thank you, Alexander. This one's for Mummy. And he really likes Christmas crafts. <laughs> well done, Alexander. And music. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on a one-horse open sleigh. Hooray! But he enjoys spending Christmas with Peppa most of all. Now we'll always remember Alexander's first Christmas. <laughs> the Pig Tails!
Peppa and Emily Elephant are having lots of fun at the beach today. They love the water. <laughs> Look, Emily, I'm a fish. <gasps> blob, blob, blob. <laughs> I have an idea. <gasps> Peppa, <gasps> how did you do that, Emily? Did you hold your breath? <laughs> no. I can use my trunk to breathe because it's so long. Oh. <gasps> What's the matter, Peppa? I wish I had a trunk like Emily. So I could breathe underwater and look at the fish. I know. Come with me, Peppa. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> this long tube goes in your mouth and means you can breathe underwater. Like Emily's trunk. <laughs> <laughs> exactly like Emily's trunk. <laughs> Why does your voice sound funny, Peppa? It's my snorkel. It means I can breathe underwater like you. Look! <gasps> no, Peppa! Yuck! Oh, Peppa, you must be careful. Yuck. The snorkel didn't work. And the water tasted horrible. That's because it's salt water, Peppa. You need to keep your lips shut tight around the snorkel so you can breathe through your mouth without letting water in. You have to take long, deep breaths, like this. <sighs> Peppa practices taking big, deep breaths. <sighs> Do you want to try again? Um, OK. I did it! I saw lots of colourful fish! Yes, well done! And thank you for helping her, Emily. <laughs> and to get rid of the taste of the salty water, George and I thought you might like some... Ice cream! Children. Good morning, Madam Gazelle. Who knows why we have come to play group early today? Isn't because we didn't learn enough things yesterday? No, Danny, that is not the reason. Is it because you like us so much? Well, I do like you all, but it is not the reason. Is it a very special day today? Yes, Pedro. We have all come to play group early because today is breakfast club. Ooh. And who knows what we do at breakfast club? Eat our breakfast. Correct. I love eating breakfast. So do I. Me too. Everyone <laughs> loves eating breakfast. And why is it so important to have a good breakfast? Because breakfast wakes your mouth up. So we can do lots of talking. Talk, 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 talk. Yes, yes. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> I eat breakfast because it tastes nice. Yes, Pedro. And breakfast gives us energy to use throughout the day. Uh... What is energy? Energy is the strength and vitality required for physical or mental activity. That's right, Edmund. <laughs> so, Rebecca, what do you use your energy for? I use it for hopping. <laughs> Very good. I use energy for thinking. What's he doing? Edmund is thinking. Yes, I was thinking. Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. <laughs> it can take a lot of energy to think. Ooh. And now we will all 
choose what to have for breakfast. Miss Rabbit is head gardener. Welcome to the Botanical Gardens, where we grow plants from all around the world. Ooh. Our first garden is a wildflower meadow. It will look nice when you've tidied it up a bit. This is what wildflower meadows are meant to look like, Daddy Pig. Ah! It takes a lot of effort to make it look this messy. The butterflies and bees like it. That's right. Wildflower meadows are very good for butterflies and bees. <laughs> Would you like to see the other gardens? Yes, yes please. please. This is the hot house. It's very hot in here. Yes, Peppa. It is where we grow plants that come from very hot places. We have cacti, Ooh. palm trees, ah. and this is a Venus flytrap. Why is it called a flytrap? Because it traps flies. Watch. The Venus flytrap has caught a fly. <laughs> George, let's play Venus flytraps. <laughs> I will be the flytrap and you can be the fly. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Caught you, George. <laughs> now I'll be the fly and you be the flytrap. Buzz. <laughs> George, <laughs> Venus flytraps do not run. <laughs> Oh, dear. George is a very sad Venus flytrap. Sorry, George. Let's both be flies. Calm down, little flies. It's too hot to buzz about in here. Don't worry. The next room is much cooler. This is our cold house. Is it the North Pole Garden? Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. It is good to eat five fruit and vegetables every day. Children, Mr Potato has come to find out how much we all know about fruit and vegetables. We know everything about fruit and vegetables. And I know everything about carrots. Good, because today we are going to have a fruit and vegetable quiz. Ooh. What is a quiz? A quiz is where I ask you a question, and if you know the answer, you press the buzzer. Ah! We will need two teams. Peppa, Rebecca and Pedro will be on one team. Susie, Danny and Mandy will be on the other team. <laughs> Let's begin. Our first question is... Which of these is not a vegetable? Lettuce, radish, celery, or a car? <laughs> a car is not a vegetable. That is right. Hooray! Next question. A chocolate biscuit is a fruit. Yes or no? Yes, it's a fruit. My daddy eats five chocolate biscuits every day. Have another guess, Pedro. Is a chocolate biscuit a fruit? Uh, no. That's right. Hooray! And now, the fruit or vegetable questions. Fruit or vegetable? I hope he asks about carrots. Oh. Hello, Mum. Historical reenactment day, is it? Yes. Today, I am a Viking. Ooh. What's that? Vikings were people who lived a very long time ago. They had helmets and shields and ran around shouting, <laughs> Can we be Vikings too, Granny? Of course. Here are some helmets. <laughs> I'm a Viking. <laughs> roar! Vicky, Vicky, roar! <laughs> Pepper and George love being Vikings. <laughs> See you later. Roar! <laughs> Peppa and George, come and see what I've made for Viking Day. Granny Pig has made a great big dragon's head. Ooh! It's to go on the front of our Viking boat. Viking boat? Yes. Today we're going sailing with the other grannies. Ho oh, ho! It's just an excuse to have tea and cake. It's not just tea and cake. We also have sandwiches and an apple. Here are the other Viking grannies. Hello, Hello Granny, Granny Pig. Pig. 
think, are you all ready for Viking Day? Yes, and these little Vikings are coming too. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Madam Gazelle, why hasn't your helmet got horns on? In actual fact, Peppa, Vikings had helmets without horns, like this. See? No horns. <laughs> but you have got horns. Have I? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Grandpa Pig. Goodbye. Have fun on your Viking boat. Are we going on a real Viking boat, Granny? Not a real Viking boat. We will be using Grandpa Pig's boat instead. I'm sure he won't mind. Uh -huh. Today, children, we will be playing musical instruments. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to play the tambourine. I'm going to play the recorder. I'm going to play the triangle. <laughs> we are not playing those musical instruments today. What? We will make our own musical instruments. But we can't make musical instruments. We're children. I am not asking you to make a piano or a trumpet, Pepper. We will be making musical instruments from all of these bits and bobs. Bottles and rubber bands. <sniffs> Balloons and yogurt pots. Music can be made from anything that makes a sound. Ah! How do you usually make sound with a musical instrument? You hit it with a stick. You blow into it like this. <coughs> or you shake it. <laughs> yes! Now, let's see what sounds you can make from these things. The children are going to make musical instruments. This box sounds like a drum. Oh, this is not a very good drum. Ah, but what happens if you add rubber bands? No, it's the same. Try plucking those rubber bands instead of hitting the box. Oh, it's not a drum at all. It's a twanger. <laughs> Susie has some bottles. These make a sound if you tap them with a pencil. Yes, and if I put different amounts of water into the bottles... Going out. Don't worry, Mummy. We can look after the house while you're away. That's very kind of you, Susie. But we have a special babysitter coming. That'll be her now. <coughs> Hello, everyone. Hello. It's my cousin, Charlotte. Charlotte Sheep <laughs> is the babysitter. Hello, Charlotte. Thanks for coming. We won't be out late. You can watch TV and I've made you some pizza. Oh, thank you. You two be good. We will. Bye. Bye-bye. How old are you, Charlotte? I'm 17. 17? That's very grown up. You can do anything you like when you're grown up. That's right. You can drive a car and even stay up late. Wow! In the future, when you're grown up, you'll be able to do that too. Ooh! But grown-ups also have to go to work, you know. That sounds fun. Can we stay up late with you, Charlotte? Sorry, it's your bedtime now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> night, night. Sleep well. Night, night. night. <sighs> Susie. Yes? Are you awake? Yes. I wish I was grown up. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> when we're grown up, we will be downstairs watching TV and eating pizza. Yes. And babysitting. And going to the cinema and staying up all night. <laughs> <laughs> In the future, we will have a yellow car. No, blue. Yellow and blue. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Grumpy Rabbit. What are you doing here? I brought Nigel for his checkup. Nigel is Grumpy Rabbit's pet newt. Hello, Nigel. 
Make sure your birdie gets lots of rest and it'll be singing like a canary in no time. Oh, music to my ears. Bye. Next, please. That's us, Nigel. Hello, Nigel. Let's have a look at you. He's looking fine. Oh, good. He's getting lots of exercise. Oh, I wish I could be more like you, Nigel. I need to get fit and healthy, but I haven't got the time. Why don't you go jogging? It's what I do to keep fit. But I'm too busy here. You can jog while you work. All right, I will. I'll start this minute. Dr Hamster <laughs> is jogging to get fit. <laughs> Goodbye, Dr Hamster. Goodbye, Grumpy Rabbit. Next, please. That's <gasps> us. <gasps> now then, Goldie, how are you? Keeping busy. That's what I like to see. <sighs> Dr Hamster, why are you jumping up and down? I'm jogging to get fit and healthy. The only thing is, I can't jog very far in here. I have to keep stopping to turn around. It's not ideal. Oh. Anyway, keep up the good work, Goldie. And remember to drink plenty of water. Thank you, Dr Hamster. Bye-bye. Bye. Pepper and George are going back home. There's Grumpy Rabbit! <gasps> Hello, Grumpy Rabbit. Want a lift? No, thanks. I'm jogging home. Hello, everybody. Hello, Dr. Hamster! Dr. Hamster has brought an exciting creature to show us all. Can you guess what animal it is? Is it a whale? No, it's smaller than a whale. Is it an ant? No, it's bigger than an ant. Is it a big ant? It's a caterpillar. Wow! Lots of caterpillars. Yes. There's a stripey one. The stripes help it to hide in the grass. There's a furry one. <laughs> Can we stroke it? Uh, no, Molly. It might give you an itchy rash. The spotty one is eating a leaf. Yes, caterpillars like eating leaves. <laughs> <laughs> Let's colour in our very own paper caterpillars. Hooray! <laughs> I'm doing a spotty one. <laughs> I'm doing an orange one. I think black and white stripes look nice. <laughs> well done, everyone. Now, who can tell me what this is here? It's a leaf. It might look like a leaf, but it's not. It is a chrysalis, which is a shell for a caterpillar to hide in while it sleeps. Ooh! Is it like a cosy bed? Sort of. But when you go to sleep and wake up in your cosy bed, you're still Peppa Pig. Yes! But when the caterpillar wakes up in its chrysalis, it has turned into something completely different. Can you guess what it turns into? A whale! A pirate! Has it turned into a super caterpillar? No, none of those. Look, it's moving! What's that noise? It's coming from Grampy Rabbit's boatyard. Here is Grampy Rabbit. Hello, Grampy Rabbit. Hello, Pepper and George. What are you doing? Ah, I've been working on my latest project. Ooh. Ooh. What is it? Well, I couldn't decide between building a sledge or a jetpack. Oh. But as we've had all this snow, I decided to build a, a sledge. sledge. A jetpack. <laughs> It's my personal flying machine! Wow. wow! That must have been very difficult to build. Uh, not really. It's all about calculating the weight to fuel efficiency ratio. Uh, once you've done that, you just bash it all together with a hammer. <laughs> Amazing! Yes, pure rabbit craftsmanship. Does it fly? Well, I've not tried it yet. Let's find out. Safety harness, check. Fuel, check. Cheese sandwiches, check. Uh, could you hold my lunch for me, please? Is it 
safe. Yes, it's only cheese and bread. No, I mean the jetpack. Of course it's safe. I built it myself. <laughs> Moments from now, I'll be flying high with nothing to see but the clouds and the sky. The clouds, the sky, the clouds, the sky. How does it work? Easy. I just press this big red button and... Well, it definitely works. <laughs> Help me, Detective Potato. I cannot find my bicycle. Aha! This is your bicycle. Uh, no, it is not. Then this is your bicycle. Yes, it is. Thank you, Detective Potato. <laughs> Detective Potato is great at solving mysteries. He's the best detective in the world. Right, that's enough potato for today. We're going to the shopping centre. Oh, goody! I love the shopping centre. What are we going to buy at the shops? A big bag of gravel. I'm trying out a new concrete mix idea. Oh. This is the shopping centre. First, Daddy Pig has to find somewhere to park. Hmm, this floor is full. So where do we park, Daddy? Don't worry, there are lots of other floors. Oh, this floor is full too. Oh, <laughs> up we go. Everywhere looks the same. Yes, that's why you must always remember what floor you park your car on, so you can find your car again. I don't believe it. Not a single space. There's a space. Brilliant. Well done, Pepper. The car is parked. Now we take the lift to the shops. What button do we press? Let's see. Are the shops on floor six or floor three? Here we go. Floor five for the shops. Vroom! George is playing with his toy car. Oh, the car is broken. <laughs> what is it, George? Car, car. Don't worry, George. It isn't broken. It just needs new batteries. There. <laughs> That's not Daddy. Oh, it is Daddy. Hello. Have we got a new car? No, I'm just trying it out. It looks funny. It's an electric car. It's a car that runs on batteries instead of petrol. Ooh. Just like George's toy car. <laughs> Daddy's got a toy car just like George's. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we go for a drive? Yes, yes please. please. Then let's go. Oh, the car is broken. Does it need new batteries? Oh, yes, of course. We just need to charge up the battery. Look. The battery is charging up. Finished. The electric car is fully charged up. Right. Is everybody ready? Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. Then let's go. Wow, this car is so quiet. Yes, electric cars are quiet. Granny, Granny! <laughs> <laughs> oh, where's Granny Pig? Here I am. Granny Pig is wearing a pretend beard. Today, I am a caveman. Ooh! Granny and her friends are pretending to be in the Stone Age. What's the Stone Age? Well, it was a long, long time ago. When people lived in caves, ate berries, and chased big, hairy elephants called mammoths. Can we be Stone Age too? Of course you can. I've made you both costumes. Look, George, we're in the Stone Age. <laughs> <laughs> Come and see what we're doing in the garden. Here are Granny Wolf, Granny Dog and Madame Gazelle. Look, everyone, here are Stone Age Pepper and George. Hello. We are digging a cave with our stone tools. Why 
don't you have buckets and spades? Stone Age people didn't have buckets and spades. You see, today we are living exactly as people did in the Stone Age. Tea time for thirsty Stone Age people. Oh, lovely. Do Stone Age people drink tea? Uh, not exactly. But I'm sure if they could have had tea, they would have had tea. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Mmm, all this digging has made me rather hungry. Me too! Let's gather berries! Yes, yes berries! Mmm, mm. strawberries! <laughs> ah, you're eating all my precious strawberries. But that's what Stone Age people did. Hello, Pepper and George. Granny Pig! Granny Pig is wearing a space suit. Why is Granny dressed as a space person? Oh, Granny is playing another little game with her friends. I'm doing an important historical reenactment. <coughs> it's about when people first landed on the moon a long time ago. Ooh! Follow me. If you ask me, it's just an excuse to have cups of tea and some cake. System checks complete, Granny. Rocket is ready for blast off. Wow! A rocket! Yes! It's Grumpy Rabbits. He's kindly lent it to us for the day. <laughs> what excitement! I'll just get the rocket ready for its blast off to the moon. <laughs> Granny? Are we really going to the moon? No, Peppa. It's just pretend. Ah! We are going to pretend the garden is the moon. And do the things they did on the first moon landing. We will plant a flag. And we will collect moon rocks. Just be careful of my rockery. Don't worry, Grandpa Pig. We will be very careful. Well, while you play your game, I think I'll make myself useful getting the tea and cakes ready. Have fun! All aboard, everyone! Ten, nine, eight, seven... Oh, well, I suppose six, these harmless little garden five, games keep Granny four, happy. Three, two, one! We have lived off! <laughs> oh, my goodness! Grumpy Rabbit's rocket has really taken off! Why does the game have to be so noisy? Grumpy Rabbit! This was just meant to be pretend! Pretend? What would be the fun in that? Day is the Mummy's Fire Station practice day. Hello, Mummy Pig. Are you ready for action? Yes, Miss Rabbit. Mummy, can we stay and watch you practice? Oh, there won't be much to see, Peppa. It's mostly just sitting around and drinking tea. Daddy Pig, we do proper fire service training here. Ready, steady, go is our motto. And to get that right, we need to practice. Yes, stay and watch. Daddy Pig might learn something. This is the fire service control room. Time for a cup of tea, I think. What did I tell you? We need a cup of tea to get ready for the day. In an emergency, we have to be ready in seconds. This first practice will show you just how ready we are. When I ring this bell, the tea drinking stops, the helmets go on, everyone slides down the fire pole... Whee! 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 ..into the fire engine and off they go! Follow me outside for the next bit. Whee! 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 <laughs> Remember, ready, steady, go. You just saw ready. Now watch our steady. You have to be very steady when using the fire hose. Mummy's ready. Steady, go! Mummy dog fixes the hose to the fire engine. Mummy Pony rolls out the hose and Mummy Pig points the squirty end at the target. Turn the water on. Water on. Steady, Mummy! Steady! Today we are going to be learning all about... <laughs> <laughs> what is so funny? Madame Gazelle, you made a squeak. Uh-huh. 
It is just a squeaky floorboard. Hmm, I really should get it fixed. Hello? Oh, I completely forgot. I'll be right there. Children, I must go to the dentist. I will only be gone for a little while. Who will be our teacher? Oh, um... Moo! I'll finish cutting the grass. Excellent. Mr Bull, would you mind looking after the children while I go to the dentist? Uh... Thank you so much. Children, Mr Bull will be your teacher. I will be back very soon. Be good. We will. Good morning, children. Good morning, Mr Bull. Today I will teach you all about numbers. We've already done numbers. Have you? Can you tell me what number this is, then? Five. Very good, Danny. Does anyone know any other numbers? One, six, forty-two. Oh, you do know your numbers. Well, do you know the letters of the alphabet? Yes. C for cat. D for dog. E for elephant. <laughs> we know lots of letters. So I see. Has Madame Gazelle taught you any nursery rhymes? Mary had a little lamb. Days of the week? Friday. Fruit and vegetables. Carrot. Gosh, Madame Gazelle has taught you everything. Mummy Pig is making an apple pie. Is the apple pie ready yet, Mummy? No, Pepper. It has to cook in the oven. Well, it looks like we'll just have to wait. Yes. What are you all doing? We're waiting for the apple pie. Well, it's going to take time to cook. <coughs> Why don't you all wait somewhere else? Oh, oh OK. okay. What do we do now? <coughs> well, I was going to do my crossword puzzle, but I can't find anything to write with. We'll find you something, Daddy. Come on, George. <laughs> <laughs> George, we need to find something for Daddy to write with. <laughs> George has found Mr Dinosaur. <laughs> you can't write with Mr Dinosaur. <laughs> George has found a toy train. And you can't write with a train. Oh. Look, a crayon. <laughs> Daddy can write with this. <laughs> Come on, George. <laughs> Daddy, we found something to write with. Oh, a crayon. Just what I needed. Thank you, Pepper and George. Hmm. Ah. Oh. Can we look for something else? OK, let's play a looking game. Find something that is the shape of a square. A square? Yes. There must be something square-shaped in this room. Can you see a square, George? Good morning, children. Good morning, Madam Gazelle. Ahem. Purple woolly socks are mittens for my feet. When the days are cold, they keep in all the heat. That, children, was a poem about woolly socks. Oh, uh, what about woolly socks? A poem is a magical way of using words that puts a picture in your mind. A picture of woolly socks? Not just woolly socks. A poem can be about anything. A lovely garden on a hot summer day. A young man. A broken heart. And woolly socks. <laughs> uh, yes. And sometimes the words in a poem rhyme, like feet and heat. Or cat and mat. Or dog and dog. No, Danny. That is not a rhyme. That is the same word. Oh, yes. Madame Gazelle. I can't think of any words. If you can't think of words, you can use sounds instead. Listen to the wind. It goes, ooh, wah, ooh, wah. <laughs> <laughs> ah 
Playtime, children. <laughs> Look for something we can make a poem about. <laughs> what can we make a poem about? A little bird. Little bird. Birdie bird. You are very birdie. <laughs> Mummy, may I have some juice, please? Of course you may, Pepper. Thank you. Well, I never. It says here that children today are very rude. Would you like some juice, George? Please. Thank you. It says children have no manners and never say please and thank you. Oh, Pepper and George always say please and thank you, don't you? Yes, Grandpa. <laughs> I'm very glad to hear that because please and thank you are very important words. In fact, they are magic. Magic? Oh, yes. Nice things happen when you say please and thank you. Please, please, please. No, George. You only say please when you ask for something. And you say thank you when someone does something for you. Thank you, thank you, thank <laughs> you, thank you. Oh, oh, it's time to go to playgroup. <laughs> <laughs> Is everybody ready? Yes, Daddy Pig! Then let's go! Thank you! This is Pepper's playgroup. Mr Bull is cutting the grass. The grass is looking lovely, Mr Bull. Oh, thank you, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Good morning, children. Good, Good morning, morning, Madam Gazelle. Let me introduce you to the Being Nice Tree. What does it do? When someone is nice, I put a picture of them in the branches. Ooh! How do we be nice? There are lots of ways to be nice. <coughs> Madame Gazelle, I know some magic words that are nice. Please and thank you. Everyone is queuing for ice cream. Muff. Hello, Mrs Cat. What flavour would you like? Is the vanilla ice cream nice? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I haven't tried it yet. It is Mr Labrador's first day selling ice creams. Oh, it's delicious. Oh, nom, 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 nom. Would you like one? Yes, please. What's the strawberry flavour like? I I'd better check. Oh, nom, 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 nom. oh, that's nice as well. I want a strawberry ice cream. <laughs> What do you want, George? Ice cream! <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Is the mint ice cream good? Mmm, <laughs> lovely. <laughs> Four mint ice creams, please. Thank you, Mr Labrador. It is Pepper and George's turn. <laughs> Can I have a strawberry ice cream, please? Ah, oh, I seem to have run out of strawberry ice cream. Then, can I have a... Vanilla ice cream, please. Oh, there's no vanilla left either. Actually, I've got no ice cream left at all. <laughs> no ice cream? <laughs> hmm, maybe I tried too many myself. <laughs> yes, maybe you did. Mr Labrador loves ice cream. Don't worry, my little ones. Let's make our own ice cream instead. Can we do that? Yes. We used to make ice cream for your mummy when she was a little piggy. Oh, homemade ice cream. That sounds lovely. Ruff. Up aboard now. Take it back home. Can we have the ice cream music, please? Good idea, Peppa. <laughs> 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 right, let's make ice cream. First, we pour some milk into a jug. Then we add some cream. Now, what flavour would you like your ice cream to be? Here is Miss Rabbit. Hello, everyone. Has anyone ever been to a museum before? Yes! yes. Good. Then you know that in a museum you can look but not touch. Because everything in a museum is very delicate. Oops. Yes, these old things break easily. But today, we're going to visit the Science Museum. Here, you can touch everything. Yay! Buttons to press. Wow! <laughs> Brilliant! <laughs> Ooh, spooky. Pull on that rope and try to lift the weight. <sighs> it's too heavy. Now 
try that rope with the pulleys on it. Wow! Now it's easy! <laughs> My goodness! How does that work? Well, it's, uh um... The system increases the mechanical advantage proportionally to the number of pulleys. Yes, that's what I was going to say. My little brother Edmund is super clever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, a tube. Hello, Susie Sheep here. Oh, where are you? Can't see you. Let's find the end of the tube. <laughs> here I am. <laughs> Hello, Susie Sheep here. Amazing. Or maybe in the future this could be used for talking to people a long way away. You mean like a telephone? Oh, uh, yes. Telephones exist already, don't they? Shall we have a juice in the clubhouse? Yes, please. Ah, uh, the clubhouse is a bit stuffy, Grandpa Pig. Not much fun for Pepper and George. That's all right, Granny. We only want to juice. It is very quiet in the clubhouse. Could we have four fruit juices, please? Do you have a membership card, sir? Of course. Very good, sir. Here are Mr Stallion and Mrs Corgi. Ah! <gasps> Grandpa Pig. Good to see you, old bean. Shh. Sorry. What are all these people doing here, Granny? I don't know, Pepper. Mostly sleeping, I think. Oh, what's this? It's a jukebox. <laughs> it plays music. I like music. But it looks like this one hasn't played music in a long time. Four fruit juices. Thank you, Grandpa. <laughs> a jukebox. Yes, but it's not playing music. It might play music if we put a coin in. Uh, we don't want to disturb anybody. Oh, Grandpa. <laughs> there wouldn't be a jukebox here if they didn't want us to play it. I suppose so. Let's choose something quiet. Of course. Coin, please. Thank you. <laughs> Now, where's the rock and roll music? Here we are. Rock and roll. <laughs> this <laughs> is the rock and roll music. Come on, George. Let's dance. We're going to roll, roll, roll. Rock and roll. We're going to rock. What sort of this noise? Nicely, children. Oh, here is Mr. Bull. Morning, Madam Gazelle. Sorry about the noise. What noise? That noise! We've got a big job on this hill. Uh, thank you for your patience at this time. Madam Gazelle, what is Mr. Bull building? I don't know, Pepper. Let's watch and see if we can guess. <laughs> Mr. Bull has a big drill. He's digging a big hole. He's making a swimming pool. A, a swimming pool! pool. Hooray! No, that's not a swimming pool. It's a rocket. A, a rocket. rocket! Hooray! But it's got petals. It's a big flower. A big flower? Oh! <laughs> It's a windmill. Yes, Pepper. It is a windmill. To make electricity. Edmund is right. Edmund Elephant is a bit of a clever clogs. <laughs> <laughs> the windmill uses wind to make electricity. How? Well, the wind spins the top bit around and electricity comes out the bottom. Ah! Oh. Madame Gazelle? Is electricity good? Oh, yes, Susie. We need electricity to power things like lights, television, and music. Ah! Back inside, children. <laughs> <laughs> Can we make windmills, Madam Gazelle? Yes. We will need paper and glue and some straws. 
Let me show you all how to make a little windmill. Mandy, what is Cheese World? It's the most fun ever! There's a cheese river, a cheese mountain, and a cheese sky! Wow! And best of all is the cheese castle, where you get to smell cheese! <laughs> you like cheese, don't you, Mandy? Yes, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Cheese World. Have any of you been here before? Yes, I have. Oh, hello, Mandy. Nice to see you back again. <laughs> <laughs> so, as Mandy already knows, everything at Cheese World is about... Cheese! That's right! And we start by sailing on a river of... Cheese! <laughs> this is the River of Cheese. Hold tight, everyone! Miss Rabbit, are the boats made out of real cheese? No, the boats are made out of plastic. Boats made out of real cheese would be bizarre. Ah. Oh. The Cheese River flows past hills and trees of cheese. <laughs> this is the Cheese Mountain. Ooh! Is this mountain made out of real cheese? No, but this is exactly what it would be like to sail through a cheese mountain. Oh. If cheese mountains existed. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to the cheese aeroplanes. Wow. Now, has anyone flown one of these planes before? I have. Of course. Hi there, Mandy. <laughs> Can you show your friends what to do? Yes. <laughs> if you pull the lever, the plane goes up. Wow! <laughs> I want to make a sandcastle too. And me. OK, George and me will show you how. <laughs> Put sand in your bucket. Turn your bucket over. Tap it with your spade. Good. Now, lift up the bucket. Ta-da! 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 Peppa, George, <laughs> Mummy and Daddy Pig have made four sandcastles. Nay! Here is Pedro Pony. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Pedro. Do you like our sandcastles? Yes, but it would be better if you had walls joining them together, like this. <laughs> Good idea, Pedro. Yes, lovely walls. <laughs> <laughs> the walls have joined the castle together. Now it's one big sand castle. Wendy Wolf is at the seaside too, with her daddy. That's a good castle. Thank you, Wendy. I like the walls. Nothing like good, strong walls. What are they made of? Straw? Sticks? Bricks? Sand. Excellent. Let's make something in the middle. Like what? How about the biggest sandcastle in the world? Yes! yes. We need a heap of sand. <laughs> Wendy, Pedro, Pepper and George are making a hill in the middle of the castle. And on the very top... Ta-da! It looks great. Yes, really good. Now it needs the bobbly bits. What are bobbly bits? All castles have bobbly bits on top of the walls, like this. Peppa is playing with her doll's house. George is playing too. <laughs> Peppa is making a tea party for the doll family. Here, George. I'm the mummy and daddy. You can be the children. <laughs> children? It's nearly tea time, so you must wash your hands. George is putting the dolls to bed. Night, night. George, why are you putting the children to bed? They're having a tea party. <laughs> George likes putting the dolls to bed. Children, come downstairs right now, or you won't get any cake. George isn't listening. He's too busy putting the dolls to bed. George, if you want to play with my doll's house, you have to help with the tea party. Here, George. You can fill the teapot with water. <coughs> Children, come downstairs right now. Mummy, we're coming. 
<laughs> George is going to fill the teapot with water. Ooh. George has found a spider in the sink. <laughs> George wants the spider to be his friend. George likes the spider. <laughs> the spider likes George. <laughs> Pepper loves playing tea parties. <laughs> Where are all the chocolate biscuits, Daddy? We had lots yesterday. Oh, I'm sorry, Mummy. I must have eaten them all. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Naughty Daddy. George is putting the spider to bed. Night, night. Pepper and George out for a day on the river. Welcome aboard, me hearties. Pepper, George, let's put your life jackets on. <laughs> when Pepper and George are on Grandpa Pig's boat, they must wear life jackets. On this boat, I'm the captain. Aye, aye, captain. Aye, aye, captain. <laughs> when Captain Grandpa tells you all to do something, you must do it. Unless it's something silly. Captain Grandpa never says anything silly. Of course not, Captain Grandpa. <laughs> George, raise the flag. <laughs> Peppa, ring the bell. Aye, aye, Captain. Granny Pig, take the wheel. Aye, aye, Captain. Full sail. <laughs> Maybe you should go a little slower, Grandpa Pig. Good idea, Granny Pig. I don't want to use up all my petrol. Grandpa, I liked it when you went fast. Don't worry, Pepper. We'll go fast later. Look, there's another boat. Here's Grandad Dog. He's taking Danny Dog out for a day on the river. Ahoy there, Grandad Dog! Ahoy there, Grandpa Pig! Hello, Danny. Hello, Pippa. <laughs> Grandad Dog is Grandpa Pig's very best friend. <laughs> I'm surprised your boat is still afloat, Grandad Dog. It must be almost as old as you are. This old boat can go faster than your rusty bucket any day, Grandpa Pig. Pepper and George are going shopping. <laughs> Pepper and George like shopping. George loves sitting in the trolley. So does Pepper. Daddy, can I sit in the trolley too? <laughs> You're too big for the trolley, Pepper. Oh. But you can help with the shopping. Oh, goody. We've got four things on the list. Tomatoes, spaghetti, onions and fruit. I'll find it all. <laughs> <laughs> this way. Pepper and George love shopping. <laughs> Pepper, first we need tomatoes. Hmm. I can see them, I can see them. Here are the tomatoes, Mummy. Well done, Pepper. One, two, three, four. Now, put them in the trolley. I found the tomatoes. Well done, Pepper. Tomatoes. That's one thing off the list. What's next on the list? Spaghetti! Pigetti! That's right, George, but it's called spaghetti. Pigetti! <sniffs> spaghetti is Pepper and George's favourite food. I wonder where the spaghetti is. I can see it! <sniffs> this way! Spaghetti! Look, Mummy, here's the spaghetti! Well done, Pepper. Let's put the spaghetti in the trolley. Yes, Mummy! <sniffs> Pigetti! <laughs> George? It's called spaghetti. Pigetti. <laughs> <laughs> What's next on the list, Pepper? Crisps. It is very early in the morning. <laughs> it's my birthday. <laughs> George, wake up, it's my birthday. <sighs> I'm going to have a party. <laughs> and Daddy is doing a magic show. <laughs> Quick, George, let's wake Mummy and Daddy up. 
Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are still fast asleep. Wake up! It's my birthday! Wake up! Oof. <sighs> what time is it? It's very late. It's five o'clock in the morning. Yes, the whole day is going. <laughs> OK, let's get your birthday started. Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig, Daddy Pig and George are giving Peppa her birthday present. <coughs> Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Peppa. Peppa! Ooh! What is it? <coughs> A doll's dress! I can put it on Teddy! Thank you, everyone! You're welcome, Peppa. <coughs> I didn't know Teddy was a girl, Teddy. Oh, Daddy! Of course Teddy's a girl. <coughs> I love my new dress. Thank you, everyone. You're welcome, Teddy. Don't get it dirty. Do you know what's happening next, Peppa? Yes! My friends are coming for my birthday party. And Daddy is doing a magic show. <laughs> no one will know the magician is your Daddy. You will introduce me as the Amazing Mysterio. The Amazing Mysterio. Yes, the Amazing Mysterio. Daddy's been practising his magic tricks all week. My friends are here! <laughs> Yippee! Here are Peppa's friends. Candy Cat, Susie Sheep, Danny Dog, Rebecca Rabbit and Pedro Pony. Hello, everyone. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Peppa. Parcel for you, Mr Pig. Thank you, Mr Zebra. <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs> Look, I just got a parcel in the post. Can anyone guess what's inside? Oh, George, you always say dinosaur for everything. <laughs> the parcel is far too small to have a dinosaur inside. Hmm. I think it's a, a new toy. <laughs> You're very close. I know what it is. Your new camera. A new toy for Daddy Pig. That's right. It's a movie camera. We can make movies with it and watch them on our television. Can I use it first, Daddy? <laughs> it's a bit too difficult for children to use. Even I need to read the instructions. Hmm. It's a bit harder than I thought. Susie Sheep's mummy has a movie camera. She switches it on like this. Oh, well done, Peppa. Thank you for purchasing the movie 3000. I am eager and ready to shoot your first movie. Is there a way to turn that voice off? I'm not sure. Thank you for purchasing the movie 3000. On Susie's camera, you just press this button to stop it talking. Thank you for purchasing... Now it won't talk anymore. Well done, Peppa. What shall I film first? Film me! <laughs> <laughs> OK, Peppa. Hello, I'm Peppa Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, everyone. Hello, I'm Peppa Pig. They have to practice at home. <laughs> Peppa is going to be Little Red Riding Hood. <coughs> Mummy Pig has made her costume. Daddy Pig is helping Peppa practice. <coughs> OK, Peppa. What do you say? I'm Little Red Riding Hood. Very good. Then what? Um... I'm going to visit my grandma. I'm going to visit my grandma. Bravo, Peppa! Danny Dog is going to play the big bad wolf. <coughs> Grandad Dog and Mummy Dog are helping him practice. On the big bad wolf. <laughs> Try not to laugh, Danny. You should be a bit scarier. Try it like this, Danny. <clears throat> I'm the big bad wolf. I'm going to eat you all up! <laughs> You see? Yes, that was really scary. <laughs> Pedro Pony is going to play the hunter. He will rescue Peppa from the big bad wolf. Um, I'm the hunter and... Pedro is a bit shy. Nay. You say, I'm going to chase you away, you big bad wolf. Um, go away, naughty wolf. <laughs> Very good, Pedro. Rebecca Rabbit is going to be the grandma. What do I say, Mummy? Let's see. 
at the start of the play, you get locked in a cupboard by the big bad wolf. Then right at the end of the play, you are rescued by the hunter. And you say, thank you. <coughs> thank you. Very good, Rebecca. <laughs> Everyone has come to see the school play. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our play, The Little Red Riding Hood. Pepper and George are having a fancy dress party. <laughs> All their friends are invited. Pepper is dressed as a fairy princess. And George is dressed as a dinosaur. Dinosaur. <laughs> Here are Peppa's friends. Candy Cat, Susie Sheep, Danny Dog, Rebecca Rabbit and Pedro Pony. <laughs> Susie is wearing her nurse's costume. Hello, Susie. <laughs> Hello, Mr Pig. I'm glad the nurse has arrived. Have you just come from the hospital? Uh, I'm not a real nurse. It's just pretend. <laughs> Very good. My, my. Who have we here? I'm a pirate. Shiver me timbers. <laughs> Meow. I'm a witch. I can turn you into a frog. Nay. I'm a clown. <laughs> That's funny. And what are you, Rebecca Rabbit? I'm a carrot. <laughs> Fantastic. Come in. There's a fairy princess and a dinosaur waiting to meet you. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Papa. <laughs> Nay. Hello, Susie. I'm Princess Peppa. You must bow when you speak to me. Hello, Your Majesty. <laughs> I'm Nurse Susie. Open wide and say, ah. Ah. <laughs> Nay. I'm a clown. Do something funny. <laughs> Rebecca, why are you dressed as a carrot? I like carrots. <laughs> <laughs> dinosaur. <gasps> a scary dinosaur. <laughs> Peppa is admiring herself in the mirror. Mirror, mirror of the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? <laughs> Daddy, what is a museum? It's a place full of interesting things that are very old. Older than you? Yes. Even older than me. Ooh, really old. <laughs> <laughs> There's one room full of things that belong to kings and queens from long ago. <gasps> I want to see the king and queen's room. And there's another room with a real dinosaur. Wow, <laughs> dinosaur. <laughs> 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 Hello, Mummy Pig. <laughs> Hello, Miss Rabbit. How many tickets, please? Two adults and two children. Dinosaur. <laughs> and a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper wants to see the room full of things that belong to kings and queens from long ago. Wow. Dinosaur. But George wants to see the real dinosaur. <laughs> Don't worry, George. We will see the dinosaur next. <laughs> Pepper. These are all the things that the Queen had a long time ago. This is the Queen's special chair. It's called a throne. It's beautiful. This is the Queen's dress. It's so pretty. Look, Pepper. This is the Queen's golden crown. Wow! What lovely things. Mummy? Where is the Queen's television? They didn't have television then. <gasps> no television? <coughs> but they did have computers. No, they didn't have computers either. <coughs> what did they do all day? <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, if I was the Queen, I would eat as much cake as I wanted. <coughs> what a lovely hot day. <laughs> Pepper and George are wearing their boots. They are going to jump in muddy puddles. I love muddy puddles. Oh. Oh, dear. The sun is so hot that the puddles have dried up. Mummy, Daddy, the puddles are all dry and we can't jump in them. Never mind, Peppa. It's so sunny, you can play in the paddling pool instead. Yes, the paddling pool. <laughs> 
First, you have to change into your swimming costumes. Yes, Bubby. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George are wearing their swimming costumes. Mummy Pig is wearing her swimming costume. And Daddy Pig is wearing his swimming costume. Because it's so hot, you need sun cream. Yeah, <laughs> So oily and yucky. <laughs> Yuck! Oh, <laughs> what a fuss about nothing. Yes, we all need sun cream today. Oh! <laughs> Come on, George. <laughs> Let's get some air into this paddling pool. Daddy Pig is pumping up the paddling pool. <laughs> Easy as pie. <laughs> Pepper holds the hose, and Mummy Pig turns on the water. Where's the water? <laughs> I expect Uncle Pig will fall asleep after lunch like he always does. Daddy Pig, you shouldn't say such things about your own brother especially in front of the children. But it's true. Uncle Pig always eats too much lunch and falls asleep, snoring loudly, like this. <laughs> uh, Peppa, George, forget what I just said about Uncle Pig. OK, Daddy. <laughs> Peppa and her family have arrived at Uncle Pig and Auntie Pig's house. Hello, Auntie Pig and Uncle Pig. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello, big brother. Uncle Pig is Daddy Pig's brother. Chloe Pig is Pepper and George's cousin. Hello, Chloe. <coughs> Hello, Pepper. Hello, George. I want to show you something. Wait for us. <laughs> <laughs> this is my new puppet theatre. My daddy made it for me. Wow. <gasps> I've made two puppets already. This one is called Chloe. Hello, I am Chloe Pig. <laughs> and this one is my daddy, Uncle Pig. Hello, Peppa. I am Uncle Pig. <laughs> Chloe, can me and George make puppets too? Yes. Chloe paints the puppet's eyes. Can I do the mouth? OK. My name is Peppa. <laughs> George, what puppet would you like to make? Dinosaur. A dinosaur? George always says dinosaur for everything. OK. A scary dinosaur puppet. Chloe is making George a dinosaur puppet. It needs pointy teeth. There, a scary dinosaur. Today is the Mummy's Fire Station practice day. Hello, Mummy Pig. Are you ready for action? Yes, Miss Rabbit. Mummy, can we stay and watch you practice? Oh, there won't be much to see, Peppa. It's mostly just sitting around and drinking tea. Daddy Pig, we do proper fire service training here. Ready, steady, go is our motto. And to get that right, we need to practice. Yes, stay and watch. Daddy Pig might learn something. This is the fire service control room. Time for a cup of tea, I think. What did I tell you? We need a cup of tea to get ready for the day. In an emergency, we have to be ready in seconds. This first practice will show you just how ready we are. When I ring this bell, the tea drinking stops, the helmets go on, everyone slides down the fire pole... Whee! 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 Into the fire engine and off they go! Follow me outside for the next bit. Whee! 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 Remember, ready, steady, go. You just saw ready, now watch our steady. You have to be very steady when using the fire hose. Mummy's ready. Steady. Go! 
Mummy Dog fixes the hose to the fire engine. Mummy Pony rolls out the hose. And Mummy Pig points the squirty end at the target. Turn the water on. Water on. Steady, Mummy. Steady. The target is hit and the fire is out. Hooray! That looks fun. It's hard work, Daddy Pig. Is it really? Yes. Just feel how heavy this fire hose is. Oh, yes. That is heavy. And that's even before we've turned the water on. Turn the water on. OK. <laughs> It is not easy to hold a fire hose steady. That was hard work. Now you see why we need to be super fit. Yes! And how do we get super fit? On the Fire Station Obstacle Course. This is the Fire Station Obstacle Course. Running through this keeps us fit and healthy. So that in an emergency we can keep going. We've shown our ready and our steady. Now let's practice our go. Ready, steady, go! The first obstacle is the inconvenient wall. Go, go! Whee! Woo! Next is the confusing crawling tube. Oh, where am I? <laughs> oh, here I am. Go, Mummy, go! Across the seesaw of general upsets. <laughs> through the tricky tippy toe tyres. One, two, one, two, one, two. Up the sloping rope walk. <laughs> And down the yippee zip wire. Yippee! 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 Oh dear, Mummy Pig is stuck. <gasps> Mummy, are you all right? I'm fine, Pepper. Actually, this mud is quite nice. Stay there, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> Yippee! 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 <laughs> Everyone likes fire station practice, especially when there are muddy puddles to jump in. Mr. Bull is cutting the grass. Good morning, children. Good morning, Madame Gazelle. Today we are going to be learning all about <laughs> what is so funny madame gazelle you made a squeak oh uh -huh. it is just a squeaky floorboard mm, i really should get it fixed hello oh i completely forgot i'll be right there children i must go to the dentist i will only be gone for a little while who will be our teacher Oh, um... No! I'll finish cutting the grass. Excellent. Mr Bull, would you mind looking after the children while I go to the dentist? Uh... Thank you so much. Children, Mr Bull will be your teacher. I will be back very soon. Be good. We will! Good morning, children. Good morning, Mr Bull. Today, I will teach you all about numbers. We've already done numbers. Have you? Can you tell me what number this is, then? Five. Very good, Danny. Does anyone know any other numbers? One, six, forty-two. Oh, you do know your numbers. Well, do you know the letters of the alphabet? Yes. C for cat. D for dog. E for elephant. <laughs> we know lots of letters. So I see. Has Madame Gazelle taught you any nursery rhymes? Mary had a little lamb. Days of the week? Friday. Fruit and vegetables. Carrot. Gosh, Madame Gazelle has taught you everything. There's nothing left for me to do. 
<laughs> What's that? It's the squeaky floorboard. Madame Gazelle wants it fixed. Does she now? Well, I've just thought of something I can teach you. How to fix a squeaky floorboard. Hooray! A couple of taps with this hammer will fix it. Hello? Hello, Mr. Bull. How are you getting on? Oh, very good. I'm just teaching the children how to fix things. Ah, that sounds nice. I'll be back soon. All right. Bye-bye. That, children, is how you fix a squeaky floorboard. It's still squeaking. Stand back. I need to take a closer look. There we go. This was the squeaky floorboard. But the floor is still squeaking. <laughs> oh, it must be this floorboard. There we go. It's still squeaking. <laughs> There's only one thing for it. What's that? We dig up the floor! Hooray! <laughs> Hello, Mr. Bull. I am coming back now. Is everything OK? Yes, yes. It's all under control. See you soon. Stand back, children! Mr. Bull is fixing the floor. Madame Gazelle is back from the dentist. Ah! Mr. Bull, what are you doing to my school? Mr. Bull is fixing the squeaky floor. That's right. Look, no squeaks now. That is because there is no floor now. Oh, yes. Put everything back how it was before, please. Right you are. <laughs> Mr. Bull is good at digging holes and hopefully good at filling them in again. Mummy Pig is making an apple pie. Is the apple pie ready yet, Mummy? No, Pepper. It has to cook in the oven. Well, it looks like we'll just have to wait. Yes. What are you all doing? We're waiting for the apple pie. Well, it's going to take time to cook. <coughs> Why don't you all wait somewhere else? Oh, oh okay. okay. What do we do now? Well, I was going to do my crossword puzzle, but I can't find anything to write with. We'll find you something, Daddy. Come on, George. <laughs> <laughs> George, we need to find something for Daddy to write with. <laughs> George has found Mr Dinosaur. <laughs> he can't write with Mr Dinosaur. <laughs> George has found a toy train. And you can't write with a train. Oh. Look, a crayon. <laughs> Daddy can write with this. <laughs> Come on, George. <laughs> Daddy, we found something to write with. Oh, a crayon. Just what I needed. Thank you, Pepper and George. Hmm. Ah. Can we look for something else? OK, let's play a looking game. Find something that is the shape of a square. A square? Yes. There must be something square-shaped in this room. Can you see a square, George? George has found a clock. Hmm. That's a circle. Oh. We need to find a square. That picture is a square. Ha <laughs> ha. Very good. You found a square. Hooray! What should we look for now? Now you must find something that makes a squeaky noise. Something that makes a squeaky noise. Try looking in the bathroom. OK. <laughs> look for something that makes a squeaky noise, George. George has found a towel. Towels don't squeak. <laughs> Owls are very quiet. Oh. Squeak! 
squeaky. The rubber duck. <laughs> that makes a squeaky noise. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy, look what we found. Oh, oh, excellent. Now see if you can find something the colour of blue. Something blue? OK. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George have found a ball. That's not blue. That's red. Oh. Pepper and George look in Mummy and Daddy's bedroom. Aw, there's nothing blue here. Pepper and George look in the office. Everything is not blue. Did you find anything? There was nothing in the whole house that is blue. Hmm, have you looked in the mirror? Daddy, the mirror is not blue. <gasps> blue! What is it, George? Blue! <laughs> George is blue! That's right! <laughs> <laughs> Peppa, George! Mummy, Mummy, we've been looking for things. Oh, I've got something you can look for. What is it, Mummy? It's round. A ball! Round and flat on top. A bit like a hat. A hat! And it tastes yummy. The apple pie! Yes, the apple pie is ready. Hooray! Yay! I love looking for things. And I love finding things, especially when it's apple, apple pie! pie. <laughs> <laughs>